You know, if you've uh, lived in the uh, Northwest for a while, chances are you remember one of the most successful ad campaigns ever seen here locally. One of my favorites. It had to do with Rainier Beer and some notorious characters called the elusive Rain Beers. Well, they're back. It was 1978, and there was just something unforgettable about these two-legged beer bottle stars. Audrey, look over there. Where? Oh, a whole herd of Rainier Beers. Little did Rainier know their ad campaign would be a runaway hit, much like their runaway characters. For decades, Rainier outsold Bud, Miller, and every other brand in the region. Nearly half the beer market in the Northwest belonged to Rainier. You really have to understand where beer commercials were before these ads came along. They were serious, they were, they were boring. Now all beers have the same four basic ingredients. Malt, hops, yeast, water. Water. They're out there, Willis! Let's go! The commercials were clever, original, and very Northwest. Keeps your beer cold and mountain fresh in the blazing sun. The action's picking up here at the Brewway. There goes Big Red. Oh! It was the perfect partner for Rainier Beer's own marketing strategies and Heckler Associates' freewheeling approach to the ideas. We began to develop ideas that were contrarian to uh, contemporary beer advertising. What can you do? Hmm. The Rainier Brewing Company knows you'll think of something. Hey, Marlene, give me another beer. Get it yourself, Bob! It had to be just scattershot chaos, like Saturday Night Live, only actually we were all better writers. It's... We got to know each other really well, because they became the Rainier crew. I would work with all those guys in a heartbeat. It was so much fun. Rainier's current owners, you know, now embrace its heritage and past, but the 1980s was this crazy period of mass consolidation within the industry. The new owners of the Rainier Brewery have canned the agency that produced the ads. I think that it's a mistake. If they don't continue these ads, I'm never going to buy another Rainier. Industry analysts say it is doubtful that Rainier beer will ever be what it once was. And the wild Rainiers will just be what they are now, a museum piece. Well, we got a call from the PR person at uh, Rainier and that they had all of these archives and things. Could we come down and, and look? I went in and there were pallets and pallets and pallets of film. And I brought all this stuff back and I kept saying, how are we going to use this? Who is going to use this? I know somebody will. I just knew it was too good, too important. And it all gets used once you catalog it. I mean, there's a perception that museums just put stuff in the basement and never gets out. We make a really concerted effort to get things out. That's what it's all about, actually, finally. But it's, it's in formats that we couldn't deal with. We were really forced to wait. And so when you came along, it's exactly what the doctor ordered. Then I had been waiting for 22 years for you. bottom line is we're saving it and through this project we'll be making it available. The simplicity, I mean think about it, you say Rainier beer ads 
90% of the people, if you say it to, go Rainier. Pretty simple, I guess. But by God, it was different. Rainier. Beer.